that the first of the, uh, the affairs that Ahlul Ilm mentioned, being from the sawarif and the things that turn away from the haqq, is jahl. Ignorance, ikhwan. Ignorance, wallahi, is a mushkila. Wallahi, ikhwan. Ignorance is a mushkila. It is a problem, ikhwan. And it is jahl that we observe so many innocent, yani unexpecting, innocent brothers being taken by the arguments of the likes of Daesh and ISIS now. And brothers claiming that as far as I'm concerned, yaki, it is the state, it is the dawla. And we hear that now, we hear people arguing whether or not it is the dawla al-Islamiyah in Iraq and Sham. And should we be going? And that, billahi alaykum, is something that you're arguing about? If Abu Bakr Baghdadi is the khalifa, billahi alaykum, there is in the history of Islam ever been bay'at to a maj'ul ever? Someone unknown give bay'at to him? Someone who is clearly ikhwan, even the khawarij themselves declare them ghulatul khawarij. Abu Muhammad al-Maqdisi and the likes, who themselves are min ghulatul khawarij, refer to them as ghulatul khawarij. Rajul maj'ul unknown. But yet still people are debating, ikhwan, from among the people of Sunnah, supposedly, debating whether we should go and give him bay'ah and whether it is the state actually. Is it being established right now and should we leave? And then making it wajib upon the Muslims to go and make hijrah to that place. Wajib upon them to go and make hijrah. Why? Because there is no dawla islamiyah in the dunya. In the home. Every single Islamic country, every Muslim country is a dawla kafirah. Now, alhamdulillah, the dawl is established. Now, alhamdulillah, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, after Abu Muhammad al-Adnani, declared the dawla in April, roughly of last year, declared the dawla, and then yani, ushered his, his, his companion, uh, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, uh, uh, unto uh, the member in, in Mosul. Boom. Khalas. We give him bay'ah, and now the dawla is Islamiyah has been established. And everyone across the dunya now is debating whether we should actually go and give him bayah. Who is he, Ikhwan? Anybody know him? Anybody know of him? Of his history, his background? His daraja ilmiya? His daraja, his daraja siyasiya hatta? As it relates to his knowledge of siyasa and politics and governing states, what is his knowledge? His knowledge of economics, his knowledge of that which is related to government of the state. What is his knowledge? Where, is he, where, does, he, where does he come from? Yet still, we have people debating whether we should go and give him bay'ah and whether that dawla is the khilafah al-rashida. And nabawiyah. Now the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that indeed there will be khilafah or there will be prophethood. But as long as Allah Azza wa Jal wishes for it to be, thumma yarfa'aha idha sha'a an yarfa'aha, then Allah will raise it when he wishes to raise it. Then there will be khilafah upon the minhaj al nubuwa as long as Allah wishes for it to remain, then He will remain. He will raise it. Then He will raise it when He wills to raise it. Then there will be a kingship uh, uh, that the Prophet ﷺ spoke of. Then He mentioned there will be a biting kingship and then a tyrannical kingship and then there will be khilafa ala minhaj al nubuwa thumma sakat. Then there will be khilafa upon the methodology of the Prophet. Then He remains silent. Khilafa ala minhaj al nubuwa. So this is the Khilafah then that the Prophet ﷺ was speaking of. Khilafat Abu Bakr. Ikhwan, there was a video fairly recently going around of, of, them, be, of them removing the hand of a thief. The, the, the executioner has a, a mask over his head. And he has a balaclava on. And they, they're stretching out his hand. And they're removing his hand with some instrument. Ikhwan, Allah knows best what it is they're using to remove his hand. Execution has covered his head. Why? Leh. If it's the dawla, and the dawla is established, and it is the khilafah, rashida, upon the minhaj and nubuwa, why is the execution covering his face? The dawla, the origin and the asal is that the dawla has quwa, strength. We're now going to, on the basis and behind the dawla, we're now going to, yani, help all of the various regions, uh, and alhamdulillah, the Khalifa is going to take care of the, 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 the mashakil of the ummah. Since 
all of these kuffar leaders that were present prior to that, they were a the problem, isn't it? That's what we've heard, we've been hearing for years, decades. They were they a the problem. When we get rid of them and we establish the dawla, then alhamdulillah, we establish the salawat, we establish the hudud, we establish the ahkam, and everything alhamdulillah will be ala ma yuram. Now the dawla is established apparently. Tayyib, why is the executioner covering his head? Khalas, where, what happened to the ilm of the sahaba? During the year, the muda'a, at the, during the time of, the, of Umar radiallahu anhu, there was a period of famine, a crisis. During that period, Umar radiallahu anhu did not remove the hand of the thief. Because it's a period of crisis. And so what, what happened to the fiqh and the ilm and the understanding of the sahaba? But now we have four or five men around the executioner who covers his head, and they're all trying to remove his hand with this instrument. This is the khilaf, khilaf al-rashidah that we're expected to follow ikhwan and give bay'ah to. This is, this is the, 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 the noble khilafah that Mr. Sallam was, was referring to. Follow the black flags, we're being told. A hadith da'ifa fiha Jabir al-Ju'fi wa fiha Rishdin ibn Sa'ad. A hadith weak, a hadith about following the black flags. And if they were established, as Imam Ibn Kathir mentioned, if we were to hold it, 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 that some of them are qabilun lit tahseen, and it is possible that some of them may be considered hasan, then they're in reference, as Imam uh, Ibn Kathir mentions, to the Mahdi al Muntadar, to the coming of the Mahdi when the flags of the Mahdi appear, then crawl even if you have to crawl up on ice to them. So either we're going to say that this is the Mahdi al Muntadar that you're, you're mentioning, because we're hearing the ahadith of the black flags, or where you're going to say that, oh, it is something other than that. And so on what, on what basis, Ikhwan, are we seeing the ummah and the shabab of the ummah uh, 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 debating even over the issue? An individual sadly going. Why? Nothing other than, Ikhwan, this jahl that we find our scholars, Ikhwan, warning the ummah against. And no doubt, Ikhwan, wallahi, it is a musibah. It is a musibah that we have so many people, Ikhwan, being beguiled by this madness. Al Imam Ahmad rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned, Inna ma jaa khilaf man khalaf li qillati ma'rifatihim bima jaa'an in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, indeed, the oppositions of those who oppose have not come except by way of qillat ma'rifatihim, except by way of the lit or them having little knowledge. Concerning that which has come from the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 